that the universe puts in place so that we can, if we can make the changes in our life, then the universe goes in there and makes it for us, which is why I so avidly say um, to be the change agent in your life versus waiting for the universe to get sick of it and change it for you. A solar eclipse is an astrological event um, and I just want to explain it in a way that it makes sense to me. I've watched a lot of videos. I've read a lot about eclipses, and they haven't really explained it in a way that resonated with me. So um, I'm going to attempt to have it resonate with you. So I'm going to actually read what I wrote down, because to me, it just makes perfect sense if you're trying to explain the power of an eclipse. So, here we go. Um, the moon, when a solar eclipse happens, the moon goes between the earth and the sun, and, the, and it casts a shadow over the sun. That is just the, def, that is the actual event of an eclipse. Astrologically, the moon signifies emotion, and the sun signifies your inner core, your ability to shine, your um, authentic self, your ego. A lot is tied up in the sun, and the earth in, in astrology is stability, is grounding energy, is your ability to remain on track with what creates a foundation for you to build on. For you, it's, it's like the roots of a tree. The earth then feeds the roots of the tree so that your tree can grow strong. Um, if something is blocking the sun and the earth, nothing can grow. Look at it that way. So when the moon casts a shadow, it's basically asking you to analyze what emotional situation is restraining your ability to authentically grow your ego and your foundation. When this happens, um, we don't always see the full ramifications of this astrological event. It can take up to six months for this event to fully come to an accumulation for you, for you to fully understand what happened on the solar eclipse. Eclipses are just huge game changers in our lives. Um, solar eclipses usually signify really big endings, but really, really, really big beginnings. So I want you to really think about what is emotionally restraining you from achieving your authentic self. This can be a person who dampens your sun and doesn't allow you to go after your dreams, doesn't encourage your, your authentic self to shine, doesn't encourage, wants you to stay in that nine to five job because it pays the bills, but hey, wait a minute, that nine to five job doesn't make me happy. I'm creative and I'm stuck in a job where I just work like a monkey and just produce results and a paycheck for my family, but I'm not happy. An eclipse will go in there and eclipse that out of your life. It will make you sick of it. It will end it abruptly. Um, it could be a relationship that just hinders your ability to shine. Um, 
every time you try to get ahead, that person likes to drag you down and make you um, insecure about yourself. If you're in a relationship like that, get out and get out now. Because I'm telling you, the universe will do it for you. It will create some sort of catastrophic event in your relationship that makes you make the decision to end it. Now, I want to emphasize that when I talk about astrology, you have the ability of free will. But in these really big events like this, the universe has more power than you can imagine. Um, I mean, it's just such a force within nature when this happens. And so, although we do have free will, we can continue to hold on to these self-destructive um, people or self-destructive patterns in our life. But then when the, ne when the next solar eclipse comes around, you're going to go through the same karmic lesson again and again and again until you get it through your head. And you're going to have a miserable stretch in between. Let me assure you, because once you once it's been revealed what the solar eclipse wants you to essentially eclipse out of your life, then it's going to ask you, why aren't you doing that? What's, what's holding you back? This this could mean for some of you that you have a self-destructive pattern. That you have a pattern that is an it's, it's an emotional baggage within you. It's it's like you stand in your own way. You have a self-defeating attitude. You don't feel like you can make the change um, because you feel limited. Uh, emotionally, physically, um, geographically, maybe. Um, and so you just feel like you're stuck. You're never stuck in your situation. Eclipses are the way to, to harness energy to give you the gusto to go. I say this, but eclipses are also very transforming. It's almost like a metamorphosis is going to happen within the next six months of this eclipse. And we have lunar and we have um, solar eclipses. Um, what we're really talking about with the solar eclipse is, can, are you shining right now? Is there something in your life that is not allowing you to embrace your authentic self. And if it is, if it's a self-destructive pattern, get help. If it's a, um, you know, if it's, if it's something that is a habit, a self-destructive habit, maybe you need to start working on that. Um, you need to go see counseling. You need to get involved in some groups. Um, if somebody has come to you, if, if you, if you have a pattern in your life, that is a continuous pattern, then the eclipses a lot of times will hit in an area. Okay, I'm gonna give you a for instance. Um, in October we had an eclipse and I was involved in a karmic relationship. Karmic relationships are our soulmates that we are brought together with throughout our lives on and off that teach us how to, um, where our weaknesses are and break us down in those weaknesses. And it's very painful. Karmic, les karmic relationships, karmic lessons, they're, they're all very, very painful. If you're in a self-destructive relationship, um, then you might want to look at yourself. Because because a healthy person isn't going to stay in a karmic relationship. They're not going to stay in a self-destructive relationship. So then you've got to evaluate why are you in this relationship? You know, what causes you to want to settle for something like this? And you experience breakdown after breakdown after breakdown after breakdown in this relationship. It's, it's the essential roller coaster ride that you do in these relationships. And um, these karmic relationships are good on both sides. Um, karmic relationships can be, 
you guys are brought together to make each other grow. But what happens when one grows and the other one doesn't? That's breakdown. The universe comes in, eclipses that relationship out of your life and says, on to the next one because now you've grown, but that person hasn't. That person can only grow through the pain of loss of you. You will see breakdown happen in relationships because they really are what what deeply impacts our ability to shine. You'll see a lot of breakdown right around the eclipse. Um, you'll feel the buildup of tension in, a, in that relationship. It will peak at the, at the eclipse, and then it will disintegrate after the eclipse. It can take six months for this breakdown process to happen because you don't want to let it go. I mean, none of us, when we experience these, these karmic lessons want to let go of either the self-destructive habit, the self-destructive relationship, the, the job that's kept us comfortable for so long but doesn't allow us to shine. Like none of us want to let go. So that's why we have eclipses in the universe because they know we don't want to. I mean, the universe knows that we're creatures of habit and we don't want to let anything go. Like, and there are some signs. I am one of them. I never let anything go. I attach and at my claws, because I'm like, you know, I'm a Leo on the cusp of cancer. So my claws like to hold on to something and I have really big claws. So I want to really hold on to these things and I hold on to them in, to an extenuating period of time that is unhealthy. Um, my lesson has been throughout these um, several eclipses since about 2012. And then through the Pluto-Uranus square, the energy is all building us to make some dramatic changes. For me, it was, what do all of my karmic relationships have in common? Me. I'm the thing in common. I can blame everybody I want to, but I'm the problem because I'm choosing these karmic relationships to be in. So the universe comes in and eclipses out my last karmic relationship, and then I have to evaluate myself, my needs, my emotional needs. What is blocking me emotionally? Is it insecurity? Is it uh, fear of being alone? Is it um, just the lack of wanting to let go of something that is habitual versus healthy for me. I experienced all of these since last October. And then finally, you know, March is a big month in 2015. Um, we will see that. And we're going to experience a very, very powerful eclipse, solar eclipse. Um, and I just really want you guys to pay attention to the events that happen. Does it mean that, you know, you're going to come in and one day, I don't know, a tornado is going to wipe out your house and you're going to move geographically? <laughs> um, it's just not that quite that simple. What it is, is this just tremendous energy where you just instinctually know at that time, I need to make some changes. Um, where the energy is, in your particular sun, because this is a solar eclipse, so this is going to be really highlighting an area in your sun, in your ego, in your cell. Um, I am going to be highlighting through the monthly forecast where eclipses are going to be highlighting you personally, and that is through your houses. Uh, when I describe these the houses that are being impacted, it's usually going to be the area where you will be experiencing an enlightenment or a breakdown or a dissolution completely. Or over a period of time, you're going to be experiencing tremendous um, turbulent times. And you're going to see, if you were to look back at the solar eclipse, it was actually highlighted on the day of the solar eclipse. So I wish you well during this breakdown process. I want you to understand that an eclipse, although is very scary um, and is very, it can seem like you are just being targeted by the universe and picked on, 
Um, why is this happening to me? Why did this happen? I, I don't want to change. I don't want this stuff to happen. It happens because change is inevitable. Life is change. And if you don't want to make the changes, somebody has to go in there and help you make some changes in your life. And that's the universe's way of protecting us, of loving us, of caring for all of the people on this planet. It is, it is, if we didn't have these guides, we would just stay in these, these horrible self-destructive ruts that are just detrimental to, to who we are authentically. We, we go through life being programmed that these, say you drink alcohol to an excess. And say it's breaking down your family, but you don't care because you're selfish and you just want that drink. And you don't care that your whole family's falling apart and your bills are going. And breakdown happens because you need to face that. You need to face if you have addiction. You need to face if you have self-defeating qualities in yourself. You need to face if emotionally you attach to the wrong people that continually abuse you. You need to face these things, and that is what the sun does for you. It helps you face those things. So, I wish you well in this um, in this eclipse, and I want you to know that I care very deeply for you, and I hope that the um, the forecasts that I do help you pre prepare you for these things. I want you to know that you do have the freedom of will, so don't be so scared of these things. Just use them as guides. And um, thank you very much for watching all of my videos, and I look forward to making more for you.